Okay, question one of finding the equation of a cubic equation. They give it to you like this. This is the standard form, and they they tell you that this um, cubic function touches the axis, x-axis, at 2 and 0, and passes through the points minus 3 and 0. So those are two x-intercepts, but it just touches there. That's an important piece of information. And it's got a y-intercept of 0 and 12. Well, they're telling you d because of x is 0. Anyways, I can see that. Well, this is the key part. How do we get started? Well, we know because it touches the x-axis here, it must be x minus 2 because that's what makes it 0. If 2 makes it 0, x minus 2 is a factor. And if it touches on the axis, just touches there, it's squared. You, you, you multiply it by itself. The other one uh, is equals x minus 3. That means x plus 3 is a factor. So there, we've got the equation of this uh, cubic. Oh, we just don't know what a is. If we multiplied this all out, we'd, we could just about figure out everything, except we need to figure out what a is. And we have to use a point they've given us. If we use 2 and 0 and minus 3 and 0, um, it won't be very good because the a will disappear. So we have to use 0 and 12. So that's what we do. Yeah, minus 3 and 0 makes that x plus 3. So instead of x, we put in 0. Instead of y, we put in 12. And then we work it out. Well, that's 2 squared is 4. Minus 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. 12 divided by 8. a is equal to 3 halves. Well, now we've got a. All we do is take that 3 halves and put it back in there and multiply it out. And that's what we do x minus 2 squared is x squared minus 4x plus 4. You're going to get x cubed, you're going to get 12, and then you just have to, you know, there's six products here. Just you can work out each one separately here. You have 3x squared and minus 4x squared. That's why it's minus x squared. You have 4x and minus 12x. That's why it's minus 8x. So there's actually six multiplications there. Now 3 halves gets multiplied by everything. 3 halves times these numbers is nice. 3 halves of 8 is 12. 3 halves of 12 is 18. And then 3 halves just goes in front here. Well, there we have it. There's your A. There's your B. There's your C minus 12. And there's your D. There's the first question. All done.